Okay, good morning, everyone. Our subject for today is Science 5 for quarter 2, week 1 and 2. And our topic for this morning is about human reproductive system. This lesson will help you become aware of your role. It targets to describe the parts of the reproductive system and find out their functions. Having knowledge about the reproductive system will give you more sense of responsibility of taking care of yourself and grow according to the words of your parents and other members of the family who take good care of you. Males and females have a unique reproductive system to perform reproduction. So reproduction is a process in which organisms produce new organisms to avoid species extinction. In humans, sexual reproduction happens, meaning the process needs male and female parent. Therefore, it is important to study our reproductive system for us to be aware and responsible on how to take good care of it. And here is the picture of a human reproductive system of a male. So you can see the different parts of the human reproductive system of the male. So we have the sigmoid colon, the rectum, the seminal vesicle, ejaculatory duct, prostate gland, cowper's gland, anus, vas deferens, epididymis, testis, scrotum, the bladder, the pubic bone, the penis, the corpus, uh, cavernosome, foreskin, the glans penis, and the urethral opening. And this is the picture of a female reproductive system. So these are the parts. We have the uterine fundus, the uterus, the ovarian ligament, the pimbrae, myometrium, the cervical canal, the vagina, the cervix, periter perimetrium, endometrium, the ovary, fallopian tube, and the embryo. Now, let us uh, answer learning task one. So, study the two pictures below. Identify if it is a male or a female reproductive system. So, write your answer on a sheet of paper. I will give you time, or uh, let's say mga 5 seconds or 10 seconds to answer this. Okay, so let us now answer. So what do you think is the first picture? Okay, so this is the male reproductive system. And how about the second one? Okay, very good. So that is the female reproductive system. Now, what do you call is the male reproductive organ? Okay, so we have the testes or the testes. Now, how about the primary reproductive organ in female? Okay, so that is the ovary or the ovaries. Okay, so let us now answer learning task 2. So, identify the parts of a male reproductive organ based on the jumbled letters. You can also choose the word from the box. Before choosing the word, encircle all the parts of the, of the female and the male reproductive system. So, we have the urethra, the uterus, the erectile, uh, erectile tissue, the ovary, vas deferens, epididymis, endometrium, ureter, scrotum, uterus, penis, cervix, testis, oviduct, seminic, seminal vesicle, vagina, and the prostate gland, fimbrae, and the, uh, the bladder. So here is the picture of the uh, male reproductive system. So what do you think are the uh, you have to jumble the letters for you to come up with a good answer. Okay, so I will give you time to answer this.
Okay, so for number one, what do you think is the answer? Okay, so we have vast deference. Number two. Okay, so we have the prostate gland. And number three, urethra. And number four, epididymis. Number five, penis. And number six, ureter. Number seven, seminal vesicle. Number eight, erectile tissue. And number nine, okay, neck, uh, scrotum. And number 10, we have the testes. And then we have another word, um, inside, are in the picture, and that is the bladder. Okay, then let's move on to the female reproductive system. Again, I will give you time to answer this. Okay, so time is up. So for number 11, we have, okay, the uterus. Number 12, endometrium. Number, okay, 15 is the ovary. And then 13 is the pimbre. 14 is vagina. Then we have 16 is cervix. And 17 is oviduct. Okay. Now, let us discuss the male reproductive system. So, the male reproductive system is composed of different organs working together to perform reproduction. So, the testes and the plural of that is testes. As the primary organ is tasked to make sperm cell that is used to reproduce new organism. Then, another one is the epididymis. It is the site for maturation of the sperm cell to develop swimming ability. And the vas deferens is a long tube that connects the testes and the prostate gland for the pathway of the sperm during ejaculation. Now, what is ejaculation? Ejaculation is the process of releasing sperm out of the system. Then we have the seminal vesicle. It is the organ responsible for the secretion of fluids containing fructose, mucose, and prostaglandins. And fructose content nourishes the sperm to stay healthy, while the mucose content is for cell protection, while the prostaglandin content triggers uterine construction. So prostate gland is the reason of the smell of the semen, which is due to alkaline fluid that neutralizes vaginal acids. Urethra is the part of the system that conducts semen or the sperm with other fluids to go outside the body through the, peni through the penis. Penis has, his er penis has erectile tissue that are used during mating or sex. Okay, now after knowing all the parts of the, um, the male reproductive system, now it's time for us to answer learning task 3. So fill in the boxes, the flow chart with correct words showing how the semen is released from the male reproductive system. Okay, so again, I will give you time to answer this learning task 3. Okay, time is up. So, what do you think uh, is the answer for this flowchart? So, we will start from, okay, so we have the testes. Next is the epididymis. And then we have the bas deferens. And we have the seminal, seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and down to the urethra. Now, based on what you have learned or based on what you have read, 
Connect to words that be strongly related to each other through a line. Copy these words in your notebook. Okay, so again, I will give you time to answer um, letter B for the learning task 3. Okay, time's up. So let us answer from number one down to six. So prostate glands is related to what? Okay, so prostate gland is related to alkaline fluid. Now how about the testes for number two? Okay, the sperm. And then number three, seminal vesicle mucus. Okay, it is related to mucus. And then the vas deferens for number four, is related to the tube. And then, number five, urethra, it is related to pin, uh, penis. And then the epididymis, we have the storage. Okay, so now let us move forward to the female reproductive system. So as I said a while ago, there are different parts of the female reproductive system. We have the uterine fundus, the uterus, the ovarian ligament, the fimbrae, the myometrium, the cervical canal, the vagina, cervix, perimetrium, endometrium, ovary, fallopian tube, and the embryo. Okay. So the female reproductive organ is primarily responsible for the production, maintenance, implantation, and elimination of egg cells. The ovary is where the egg cells get matured and is released. We have the pimbria sweeps the matured egg to the fallopian tube or ovida. The egg goes to the uterus wherein eggs may be either fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or eliminated by means of menstruation. During implantation, the part called endometrium aligning in the uterus Thickens to the process and vagina is the passage going to the uterus. It is where the penis is inserted and menstrual uh, blood goes out. Okay, now this time we will answer learning task 4. So fill in the boxes of flowchart with correct word or part of the female reproductive system showing how egg matures and being fertilized in the presence of sperm cell or goes out at the body in the form of blood. So I will give you time to answer this. Okay, time is up. So let us now answer. So we will start with the we will start with the ovary followed by fimbrae. Then we have the fallopian tube and then the uterus down to the vagina. Okay. Now, next is the, based on what you have read on parts of female reproductive system, connect the words that are strongly related by connecting them by a line. Okay, this time I have already answered fallopian tube which is related to path towards the uterus. Now, for the first four numbers, you are going to answer on your own. So, I will give you time to answer this. Okay, so let us answer. So, the first one is vagina. So, it is related to the penis insertion. And then we have the uterus is for the egg development and then we have also the endometrium lining for egg implantation and the fimbria we have the sweeping the eggs okay so this time we are going to answer learning task five so for the learning task five write mr if the given word is part of the male reproductive system otherwise Write FR in case the part can be found in both systems. 
and then write both. Okay, so we, I will also give you time to answer this uh, learning test five. Okay, time is up. So for number one, we have, okay, so this is the for the male reproductive system. Number two, uterus. Okay, female reproductive system. Number three, erectile tissue. Okay, male reproductive system or MR. Number four, ovary. It is for the female reproductive, so that is FR. Vas deferens, that is MR because this is the part of the male reproductive system. And then, epididymis, we have also the, uh, the MR. And then endometrium, this is part of the female reproductive system, FR. Ureter, okay, both the male and female reproductive system have ureter. Okay, scrotum, okay, this is for the male reproductive system. Berten, uterus, okay, FR. 11, penis, so we have MR. Number 12, cervix. Okay, FR. Number 13 is testis, MR. And then 14 is oviduct, we have FR. 15, vagina, FR. 16, prostate gland, MR. 17, seminal, vesicle, MR. 18, primbria, we have FR. And 19, urinary bladder. Okay, both. So both the male and female have urinary bladder. And then we have the ureter. Okay, both. Okay, so did you get it correct? Okay, very good. Let's move on to learning task six. So learning task six, you have to label the parts of the male and the female reproductive system. Draw both pictures in your notebook. So, I will let you answer this in your notebook. So, take a look at the picture. So, the first picture is the male reproductive system. Okay, so let us answer. So, for number one, we have, okay, that is a bladder. For number two, the line. I am, I'm sorry, number two is urethra. Number three, we have the penis. Number four is the scrotum. Number five is the erectile tissue. Number six is the seminal vesicle. Number seven, we have the prostate gland. Number eight, we have the vas deferens. Number nine, we have the testes. So let's move on to the male reproductive system okay let us answer so for number 10 we have the fallopian tube number 11 is the uterus number 12 is the bladder 13 is urethra 14 is the pimbria 15 ovary 16 endometrium and 17 we have the vagina or the so for learning task 7, so both males and females have roles in the community. These roles are observable in your parents, especially in your father and your mother. Complete the boxes below to describe the roles of your parents in your family. So I have here an example of the role of a mother and a father and the importance of uh, knowing your sexuality. So the answer, my answer is, uh, for the father's uh, role, we have my father lays down rules and enforces it. He provides a feeling of security, both physical and emotional. While my mother's role in the family is she manages the household chores and looks after our welfare. Now, what is the importance of knowing your sexuality? 
So knowing your sexuality is important because it is part of who you are. Being supported and safe to explore and express your sexuality can be good for your mental health. It can also reduce distress, anxiety, and depression. So that is my answer. But you have to list down the role of your uh, father and mother in your family. And also the importance of knowing your sexuality. Okay. That concludes our lesson for today. And I hope that you learn more about the human reproductive system. So thank you very much. And again, this is Teacher Malu.